What's up, slackers? Want to waste some more time? Well, let's do it. You are in the right place. So first off, I just want to say welcome to all you subscribers out there to Team Slacker Gaming, where the fun never stops and the fun will never stop because I won't allow it to. So uh, the channel's over 100 subscribers already in the first day, and for me, that is a big deal. So thank you so much. And in the comment section down below, let me know if you are part of that first 100 subscribers because I want to say thank you to you personally. But anyway, you're looking at some Modern Warfare 3 gameplay, obviously, duh. And you're looking at the map uh, Bootleg, I believe it's called Bootleg. And uh, I had like 18 kills and like 17 deaths, but you know what? I still went positive, so I'm learning. I'm not a good Call of Duty player, I know that. I'm not trying to be the best out here, but I am trying to give you the best commentary that I possibly can, and that's what I plan on doing. So today... We have a nine-minute gameplay, so it gives me plenty of time to babble on and on and on and on and on, and uh, so we'll, you know, we'll get onto that. So anyway, I wanted to talk about Black Ops 2, okay? I haven't done much research on the game, but I have seen plenty of commentators talking about it and talking about different things, and I'll tell you right now, I am looking forward to Black Ops 2 mainly for the zombies because, um, you know, a Treyarch, when they do their games, you know, they are all about the zombies, I mean, for the most part, I mean, we all kind of know that, but Infinity Ward, we know, usually for that year, we are left without zombies, and that kind of breaks my heart, it makes me a sad person because I am a huge zombie fan, I love zombie movies, zombie video games, zombie sex, I do not like zombie sex, but if I was, you know, if I had to do it, you know, times get tough, you know, people get desperate, anyway, that was horrible acting, so, let me continue, so in Black Ops 2, I am definitely looking forward to the zombies, because, like I said, I've been without my zombies for a while now, and un unfortunately, Kinner Der Toten, or whatever, however you wanted to pronounce it, from uh, the original Black Ops, started getting boring after a while, and, and, you know, even when Treyarch starts releasing the new maps, the new zombie maps, I always find myself going back to the first original map that came with the game, and I I'll never forget, I remember when I opened up Black Ops when it came out in 2010, and I remember I ran right to the zombies real quick because at the time I wasn't even really playing multiplayer I was just doing uh, the zombie stuff that's what I was comfortable with um, so I remember when I first got to it I was like oh man this is awesome you know ever since World at War I was like I've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and here it is and it was just so much fun you know what I mean I just I played it for hours and hours and hours I for that week did not get much sleep that is for damn sure and for those of you diehard gamers out there um, you know what I'm talking about when a new game comes out. Now, everybody's freaking out about Diablo 3. I've never really been much of a Diablo fan. I was more of a StarCraft person, but this is, this is you know, I'm getting a little sidetracked here. What I want to know from all of you in the comments section down below is how do you think Black Ops 2 is going to differ from the original Black Ops? I mean, I, I want to know because as far as I know with the multiplayer, I don't really know of too many different changes. Are we going to still have kill confirmed? Are we still going to have um, all these other gameplay types that were given in Modern Warfare 3? I don't know. Did I do my research? No, but I'm sure a lot of you did. So that would be awesome if you could inform me of that and let me know because I'm a slacker. So that's my whole thing. Let me, you know, let me talk about that for a second. My brand, that's what you call it, you know what I mean? Uh, like uh, Sly Foxhound calls his audience homies, you know what I mean? Be become a homie. Um, uh, Toby Games calls everybody uh, audience, you know? My thing is I like to call everybody slackers because what is a slacker? A slacker is a person who gets easily distracted, you know what I mean? When they have something that they have to do, like homework or they have to do, they have to go to work and they procrastinate and they just don't want to do it and they want to be, be laid back and just chill. That's what a slacker is. And I just kind of thought to myself, hey, you know what I mean? We're all slackers on the internet. We come to YouTube usually to kill time, to waste time. So let's waste some time. That's why I say that because technically when we're playing video games and all that, we are wasting time. There's probably something more productive that we could be doing or that our families or parents would want us to be doing. But we know we don't really want to do it and we'll make every damn excuse out there to avoid it. You know what I mean? That's just how it goes down. And now when Black Ops 2 comes out, heh. I'm going to be, you know, gone from the world for at least a good month. That's for damn sure. You know what I mean? Thank God I'm not too into uh, 
you know, too many different games. You know, mainly I'm just a Call of Duty fanboy, you know what I mean? That's that's the way I am. I tried the whole Battlefield thing. It really wasn't for me. Amazing graphics, amazing game. It just wasn't for me. It just it was too much, you know what I mean? I like the simplicity of Call of Duty. Uh, so in the comment section, if you guys all want to fight about what's better, Call of Duty or Battlefield, feel free. I am not going to stop you, but I am a Call of Duty fanboy. And uh, that's just pretty much what it comes down to. Isn't fanboy kind of a derogatory term? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And by the way, this gameplay absolutely sucks because I hadn't played Modern Warfare 3 since December. Uh, I, I just had to take a break from video games because I was, I was getting too into it. Sometimes I go on these hiatuses where I don't do any gaming, you know, for, for months on end. And I decided I wanted to get back into commentary. I've done commentary on a couple other channels in the past, but... Um, I wanted to get back into it, and this seemed like a good way to do it. So, yeah. Um, and also, another thing I want to just mention, uh, if you haven't seen my first video, is from time to, well, not time to time, I'm going to try it every video in the bottom of the description. I'm going to try and put some other uh, gaming videos or other videos that I found are interesting, that I enjoyed, and uh, other people that I think you should check out. So always check the description of every one of my videos that I put out for uh, other videos to check out when you're done watching mine. So you're not just sitting around, you know what I mean? Like, oh my god, upload another video. Well, now you'll have other stuff to watch and maybe check out some other people. And that's what I'm all about. You know what I mean? I'm all about uh, trying to get other people known. So like I said uh, in my first video, if you have gameplays that you want to send in of Call of Duty, Battlefield, whatever, send them in to TeamSlackerGaming at gmail.com or you know, upload to, uh, upload to YouTube as unlisted. Send me the link and if I use it, I will give you a quick shout out in the video of the gameplay that I'm using of yours and we'll get some traffic going to your channel as well and I think that'll work out for everybody in the long run. So yeah. Anyway, back to the whole Black Ops 2 thing. I go off on a tangent. When I have a lot of time to talk, I just go off on a tangent. And it happens. I'm a slacker. This is what I do. I procrastinate the point. And I'm doing it again. I am doing it again right now. And also, you know, I want to know something. I, a lot of times in between my sentences when I'm just thinking, I'll say uh or um. So in the comments section down below, I want someone, so one or two of you, to keep a tally of every time I say um and every time I say uh, including the ones I just said now, and put it at the end of the video when the video's over. I want you to let me know how many times I said those two little filler word things that really are not words, but I, you know, just say them. So, uh, I just did it again. Yeah, this is gonna drive me crazy. But, anyways, Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2. That's what we were originally talking about here, weren't we? So, when Black Ops 2 comes out, I don't really know if I'm going to be one of those people who pre-orders it. I really don't know. Because when Modern Warfare 3 came out, guess what? Everybody, including me, uh, I did it again. I did it again. Everyone pre-ordered Black Ops 2, uh, Black Ops, ah, wow, what game am I talking about? Modern Warfare 3. Everyone pre-ordered Modern Warfare 3 at GameStop, and including myself, and I went that night to go pick it up, and the line was like, pfft. It was like a mile long. So I drove up and down the strip of where all my stores are, and then I saw that Best Buy didn't have a line. So I said, I'm not waiting on that GameStop line. So I ended up walking right into Best Buy. I waited about a half hour, 20, 30 minutes, as opposed to waiting like an hour or two at the GameStop. I walked in. I bought the, uh, you know, the hardened edition or whatever the special edition was of Modern Warfare 3. I walked in and out, got what I needed, and I ended up buying a, an extra copy of Modern Warfare 3. You know, I, I had two copies of uh, Modern Warfare 3 on Xbox and one on PlayStation 3. I tend to not play PlayStation 3 very often, but I do have it. If you want to add me on there, my username is Rooker's Vendetta, and on uh, Xbox 360, it's That Haunted Hero. You guys may have remembered that username that I had, but whatever. Um, so Black Ops 2 is is definitely going to be cool. Let me know what you know about Black Ops 2. What is the difference? My question to you is, what is the difference between the original Black Ops and Black Ops 2? What can we expect that is going to be new and cool? Let me know in the comments section. And if you enjoyed this commentary, please hit the thumbs up button, share it, add it as a, you know, subscribe and all that fun stuff. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, new videos on the way. Minecraft is coming. Some dual commentaries. You're going to see me fail at Minecraft and we're going to have a good time with that. This is Pete from Team Slacker Gaming. Thanks so much for watching. Keep on slacking and I love you all.